Thank you for taking a moment out of your day to watch this video. On this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can start pushing data from Zapier over to PhoneBurner. But I also want to point out that we can take data from PhoneBurner, send it over to Zapier so Zapier can update other systems. Now before we talk about how you can use Zapier to push data into PhoneBurner, let's talk about what PhoneBurner is and why you would even want to send data over to PhoneBurner. PhoneBurner is a power dialer. It's a tool designed to help you and your team make your calls three to four times faster than you would on your own. Our members average 60 to 80 dials an hour. They can instantly drop voicemails without having to listen to the greeting and wait for the beep. They can automatically send emails based off the outcome of the call. And we've got a full contact manager to help you manage and organize your contacts so your team can be as efficient as possible. Now, in order to take advantage of phone burner and the power dialer, we need to get the data into phone burner. And that's where Zapier comes into play. Zapier is a tool that's going to allow you to send information from one system to another. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how easy it is for you to set up a new Zap that will instantly send information directly into phone burner so your team can start smiling and dialing and closing deals faster. So let's click on Make a Zap. The first thing we need to do when we're configuring our Zap is we need to tell the Zap where the information is coming from. With Zapier, you can zap information from thousands of other systems. In this particular case, I'm going to zap information that comes from a Zoho form. This zap is going to be triggered only on new form entries. I've already connected a Zoho account to Zapier, but if you haven't done that, make sure you click on Connect an Account. Just go ahead and provide the appropriate permissions, and you can test it to verify that everything is connected and working right. Then we'll hit Save and Continue. In the case of Zoho Forms, we need to connect it to a specific form. Now, I've created a form on Zoho Forms called Give Me a Call. Once I've connected that, I'm going to go ahead and continue. As you can see, it just checked the Zoho Forms to see if there were any form fields that it could grab. And you can see there is a sample that came over. I can expand this, and I can see what came through that zap. Once I've confirmed I've got all the information that came through the form, I go ahead and continue. And now I need to tell the Zap what to do with this data. So I'm going to click here to add an action step. And in this case, I'm going to choose Phone Burner. It's going to create a new contact. Just like on step one, our trigger step, we connected a Zoho account to this Zap. I need to do the same thing with a Phone Burner account. Here you can see I've got several that have already been connected. But if you have not connected one, you'll need to click on the Connect an Account. Just like we did with the Zoho, we need to provide the permissions to Zapier to connect to our phone burner account. So make sure you enter your phone burner username and password and provide those permissions. I'm just going to verify that this one is still connected properly, so I'm going to test it. Once I confirm it's still connected, I'm going to go ahead and select it here, and we're going to save and continue. Now this section is a really important section. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell the Zap what folder should receive these contacts. So in this case, I'm going to deliver those records to the Zoho Forms folder, and now I need to map the last name from the contact form to the last name field in Phone Burner. Same thing with first name. Full name first. So as you can see, I'm just connecting the dots at this point. In this particular case, all I'm mapping over is name, phone number, and email address. I'm not capturing any additional details, so I don't have address information. I don't have additional phone numbers. Now, before we wrap up with this one, I do want to point out that we can actually create tags and add a tag to a contact as it's being delivered to the phone burner system. You can add a single tag or multiple tags to those contacts. I'm not going to worry about doing that on this one. I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue. Now we get to see a preview of what will be sent to phone burner. After you look at it and confirm that everything is connected the way you want it to be, go ahead and click the Send Test to Phone Burner, and the Zap will send that record over to your Phone Burner account. Now, I've gone ahead and logged into my Phone Burner account, so let me bring that over here, and you can see Sally Sample has been delivered to the Zoho Forms folder with the name, phone number, and email address. So as you can see, it's super easy to configure a new Zap to send information directly to Phone Burner. And that's just one example of how to use Zapier. I have a few more examples that you can access by going to Support and going through the Phone Burner University. In here, you'll find access to our third-party integrations training module, and you'll be able to go through the Zapier section and see a few more examples of how you can use Zapier to be more efficient. Thank you for taking the time to watch this little video. I hope it has helped you see how you can start to bridge the gap between other systems and phone burner so you and your team can start taking full advantage of the phone burner power dialer.
Thanks again. If you haven't set up your free trial yet, make sure you do that today and start zapping data over to PhoneBurner so you and your team can just get more done in less time using the power of PhoneBurner. Have a great day and happy dialing.